The armor and the well both... The armor and the well... Both have these close-ups with specific explanations. They're probably just ways to die, but we haven't died in the well yet. We've seen someone dead in the well. Can we use the crowbar on the luggage? Some WD-40. We do have oil, and if we try to use it on the rest of the joints, it says, like, where... And then the axe kills us. They're locked. Yeah, that's why I'm using a crowbar. You someday want like a proper retro, retro-ish at least build. It just goes straight to sleep. Every game at the same time. It does, it does pretty all right. It does what it needs to do and then some. I'm... I'm happy with it. It feels good. Take... Record. Well, she, she's not awake though. Making those proxies though too. I feel like that does some work on it. Uh look. Ask show uh, show V V Monocle. You're such a fake sleeper, VP. Nobody's sleeping with this on. Dump water on me. I think all anybody has here is cognac. Every night before going to bed. <laughs> I need to remove this. Break the canter. Oh. You open door with crowbar. It's locked from the other side. Oh. The crowbar would do literally nothing. <gasps> well, yes. Uh, oh, but it's down. Okay, I need to get on it. On the elevator. Don't die on the way to the elevator. elevator. <laughs> oh, this thing. 
Yeah, okay, uh, this is why, this is why we couldn't get the poker, I forgot, because he uses it to murder. Something tells me pink feathers, that the colonel already knows about this horse race. Look, table. Look, magazine. Uh, resource quarterly, Sunny Boy has been circled in red. Up. I wonder who too, they always walk by. Up. Firmly push the handle, but the darn elevator won't move. You just waste your oil. I mean, but the poker's also there still. I guess while he's not in here, let's snoop around a little. If we can. I feel like there's nothing really we can do. Look. Roar. Open armoire. Look, fireplace. Look, sofa. Look, window. Look, up. Look, down. Look, wall. Cannon. Knickknacks. Can I take the cannon? The colonel would notice if it were gone. Mm. I feel like if I go into the room to the left, he's gonna come back. There's gotta be a way for it to go up though, because that elevator is totally in that room at the end. Somehow. Matches. Is there a mantle? Look. Somewhere somebody's got to have matches. I don't know if it's going to be in the kitchen or. down. How? Tall elevator? Let me climb that rope or something though? Open gate. Look fast. Elevator seems to be downstairs. Climb rope? What is this? That seems weird.
Oops. Look, mantle. Need matches. Find matches. Paint. Lantern with fire. Walk room every time. Oh boy, our friend is here. <laughs> Act four. Okay, there. Are, according to the manual, there are eight acts. I think. <sighs> Not doing too hot. Uh, not Lucille, Lillian. More interested in reading a book and to some dolls and talking to you. It'd probably be best to leave her alone. With the mystery missing chair that she's sitting in. Oh, hello. Hi. Wait, ready? Where are you going? Where are you going? Wait, bye bye. bye. Blowing off some steam, getting ready to fight Clarence, luring me to the murder. Should I say something? Uh. <laughs> I'm a... Yeah, okay, here's her, yeah. Get out of my sight, jerk! No, you! Get out of my sight! No, you! No, you! Punchy punch, you little pipsqueak! Don't mess with me, bud! Just stay out of my way! You ain't heard the last of me, Rudy! I'll get you for this! Can you just flip us the bird? Okay, Ethel's still alive for the time being. Time is flying by. Oh. And the footprint. Okay, take broken record. Don't know why. <whistles> Look, feathers. Could they have come from Gloria's feather boa? Look, footprint. Muddy spot looks like a partial footprint. How can we like... Uh... record that will work. Get footprint. Oh, hi Jeeves. No, were you about to clean that footprint?
He's cleaning. No, Jeeves. Well, shit. Wait, can I get any of these cranks? <laughs> Square crank. Four matches. All would be nice. Right there. Open? I think we already tried this. Nothing in the piano. Elevator is still down. Oh, Lillian. I feel like I should go back into the wall unless she's, oh, you're gonna notice me. Hi, Lillian. So? Fix it up in passing, that's all. Who cares about anything? I don't know anything about the doctor bag. Ask about... Whoops. It's about shoes? Hmm. I mean, really, <laughs> nobody cares about murders. No, we can't spy on that room. We can only spy on the library. I forgot, and it's been cleaned up also.
Now, here comes the obligatory changing scene. Ask about Boa. Ask about... I think it's on it in her room a couple of times. If she's not sleeping. Uh... Why could you care less about a fancy, cool monocle? Right? <laughs> I don't want to look at it. Ask about poker. Find somebody to ask. Should have been asking about the attic. Couldn't think of like the name of the area. not slow down oh I guess not uh use oil on helmet okay you need to use it on multiple places before we get sliced use oil on Knees. What other parts? We can't say gloves because to uh, use oil on shoulders? Torso? Okay, everything's maybe oiled. Look, suit. Joints, joints, joints. I need a torso, knee, feet. saved. Okay. Oh! Uh, nope. Yep. Dead. Remove this heavy armor. I think you can redo things. I think of just repeating things. Like that's why it backs away. Maybe? 
below. Did I? That was weird. <laughs> Use oil on apps. It's all, it's just, this is so just a big setup for death, isn't it? Use oil on visor. Whoa, that could be interesting if we could just open it. Oh my gosh, yes! Oh, I'm so glad you said that. <laughs> yeah, it moves us around to the front no matter what. And carefully open the armor's visor and peek inside. See a small metal valve handle hanging by a hook inside the armor's helmet. You grab the valve handle. You also see an old yellow note pasted on the inside of the helmet. Curious about the old note, you read it. It says, Our dearest daughter Sarah, we knew that you we knew you would know to look in the armor. This war is terrible. We fear our end is near. In case you're not the only one to find this note, we won't give much too much away. Use this valve handle with your favorite water nymph. Don't ever forget, we love you very much. Yes, yes. Solving mysteries. Even though a lot of people have already died, two people have already died, probably three at this point. see what it does. Why have I been walking all the way around the long way? <laughs> uh, what is it? A valve handle? Oh! I didn't do anything! Map? What? Use valve handle. Turn handle? You see the other side of it. Okay. A use handle. Yeah, really though. Metal valve handle is now attached to the valve stem at the base of the statue. Turn valve. On turning the valve handle, you hear a click and the fountain comes to life. Cool. Why? It doesn't seem like we can like completely drain it, but this is a different status than it was, I guess. So, sure. Ah. There's something special about it? Nope, nothing at all. One more. <sighs> he does kind of look like Dracula, doesn't he? Oh, there's the cigar butt. Get butt. Who's where? Still just Rudy. Not suspicious of anything. We have a cane, we have a cigar. 
Who, how, when, why? Look, eyes. They kind of did in, what was that game called? Go Home or something? Although it wasn't a murder mystery. Like an emotional mystery. <laughs> Okay, time passed when we saw Clarence in here, so maybe we can talk to Clarence. Ah, gone home. Yeah, that's right. That's what it was called. Well, there's, yeah, there's nobody. Spoilers. There's nobody there. Although it is legitimately spooky. Uh, ask Clarence about monocle. Ask about cigar. I don't think so. Show cane. Show cigar. That's about mud. Ah, something itching my ear. Who is a cedar or a fountain? Ask about water. Eh. He must be really nervous. He's brushed his teeth like 10 times. Yeah. <laughs> what shock and horror. Nervously, you examine Glory's body and confirm she was indeed viciously strangled with her feather boa. Is that it? That's it? And now we are barred from getting onto the gazebo. The statue was suspicious. Something about that position felt weird. I forgot that we had tried to do that before we turned on the fountain. <laughs> you grab the statue and find it turns easily. As you turn it, you notice a hidden trapdoor. Our bulging muscles got us through. A hidden trapdoor in the ground opening simultaneously. 
Can I get in it this way or am I going to have to walk all the way around? Yep. dark. I need freaking matches. Matches, 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 matches. No idea where matches would be. Expecting it. Nothing you need in the cupboards. Open stove. Nothing in the stove or oven. Look. Shelves. Clarence is still around. Yeah, and he smokes, doesn't he? The old butter churn is empty. I mean, he was still around. Rudy's still here. Clarence, I need a match. Oh, I ask for a match. Get matches. Oh, Clarence about matches. Ask for a lighter. Get lighter. Get light lantern. I like everything here is kerosene apparently. So somebody's lighting things, Jeeves. But he didn't have matches down there, I don't think. Ah. Matches, 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 matches. Matches, matches, where would you be? Not by any fireplace, I don't know why. Wait, can I use the cig cigarette butt's not still like lit, is it? We can, uh, oh, move arm one. Why are you treating me this way, Uncle Henry? Don't you care how I feel? Don't I matter to you anymore? You matter to me the same way everyone else does. No more and no less. Look, he's picking us off, I mean. But I don't understand. Uh, I thought it was special. I thought you cared for me more than Gloria or Rudy or any of the others. You're right. You thought that. You were wrong. What about when I used to come and visit you? You were like a father to me. How can you be like this now? I'm afraid you misunderstood a lot of things, Lillian. I was just trying to help my sister, that's all. To me, you were just her insecure, whiny kid. Oh, maybe, it, well, Gertie died first. No, Ethel. 
I won't hear any more of this. You're lying to me, Uncle Henry. Somebody's behind this. I just know it, and I intend to find out who it is. Au revoir, Uncle Henry. Hmm. All right. Turn up his mouth and refuses to talk to you. Get no reaction. And I got an error message for some reason in the status window. Error while parsing said spec. Show paint. Oh, it must be something to do with the fact that he's not gonna say anything no matter what. Still nothing there. It bugs me. There's something about that Murphy bed. Lillian? Lillian? Hey girl, you okay? Like some pretty crazy stuff just went down. Also, do you have some matches? Maybe I can like look in the bell without ringing it, like the knife, or like the, how the suit actually was something more than just a death. Well, from where then? to drop it <laughs> uh, I don't want to drop it on ourselves Yep, she has to walk over. No! Oh, 
Aww. Let's look in it from here. Look. The rusted iron bell at the top of an old bell tower dangles a short distance behind the weathered fence. You also notice rem remnants of an old field. Can we get into the field? Never actually tried to climb the fence. Too difficult to climb, besides you don't care about those old fields. Oh, okay. Of course. Matches? Does this church have any matches? Don't see any matches in here. That's right. This is kind of weird because there's not like a body here. I don't know if this was supposed to be after Wilbur. <whistles> See a footprint in the mud. Yes. Can you tell me any more about it other than it's just a footprint? dead in here. I've been hit over the head and killed. Something terrible is going on around here. Ooh, whoa. Different. Uh, how am I going to get close enough? Can you fearfully search Ethel's body and find she was indeed killed by a terrible hit on the head? Is that it? I think it was a combination of murder and murder weapon. You know. Old crates are piled in new crates. Hmm. Okay, here's something I never tried. I don't know if it'll do anything, but. Especially on the other side. The corn, I'm afraid to say whatever that is out loud. <laughs> that looks 
it kind of scared me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, fine. Oh, shit, but wait, I'm on this side of the fence. Am I gonna have to, I mean, not that I did anything really. It's gonna get me. No. no. Keep going. Go, go, go. Run. Ah! Okay, let's save on this side of the fence. <laughs> I don't think there's anything on the outside, but... I mean, yeah, it seems like it would be very easy for any of the alligators. Like, this fence isn't really doing much. Yeah. Mm. Maybe we'll find matches in here now, maybe? Party trying to open everything. Nobody has a lighter. Wheelchair's gone. Lillian's in here checking her diary. Hey, I wonder if. Lily is writing in a book, which she apparently keeps locked in her suitcase. Also, feverishly writing. Check. Exactly. Look, eyes. Nothing of interest there, because they're all dead. Colonel got back quick. Alright, Lillian, we need to chat, but quickly because I think you get sick of us soon. a room lore, but I'd like to be alone for a little while. I need to do something privately. Mm. Armoire and handkerchief, I feel like, are the tricky ones. As well as bell, I guess, apparently. I can never do. Clarence. I cannot see how they might have died. You are very puzzled. What if they're faking it? I think they're faking it. Yeah, okay, take matches. <laughs> Damn it. Look, glasses. 
drinking cognac when they died. Ooh, flowers. I tried to type dumb later. <laughs> Isn't that what the things are called? Like the... Better to leave them alone. Who can have flowers lies on the table next to the cognac decanter? Oh, is it one word? Okay. That's good to know. I don't think he's going to tell us anything at all about it, but it also seems to just be empty completely. 